come back my viewers and my subscribers to another exclusive for our topic discussion and review now in today's topic we're gonna take a look at Muta Baruka receiving a letter from Vibes Cartel pleading for mercy Hear me plead, Pastor Bar, help me Jesus Tommy Lee Sparta calling out Selector Futa Hype after him accused him of running from Bounty Killer. Now, as you know, trust me, Bounty Killer, otherwise, he's the person for deal with it. All. Also, in this one, as you know, the Queen has passed, so all of this week we're gonna be paying tribute to the Queen. Cause you know, the Queen is highly respected. God save the Queen. Queen. It was the moment that no one saw coming. So do I. With a twinkle in her eye, the Queen fumbled in her iconic handbag and pulled out an emergency marmalade sandwich, leaving Paddington Bear stunned. The playful sketch left the world in hysterics when it was broadcast at Her Majesty's Platinum Jubilee celebrations in the summer. And although it was her husband, Prince Philip, who usually made headlines for cracking jokes, the Queen loved a good chuckle herself, with even Boris Johnson getting a royal ribbing. And my final topic in this one, viewers and subbies, you must have heard of the tragic incident which happened in West Milan where three young boys lost their life and their elder sister only 12 years old was so badly injured that she has now been taken into air ambulance to miami where she shall be receiving proper treatment to get her back to recovery my prayers are with the friends and family of these young kids who lost their life however my viewers and my subscribers Boy, some disgusting things surfacing up on TikTok and social media about the father of these children. Now, they're calling that the father should be arrested because of all kinds of manner of evil, which I will not mention up on my channel. God, them thing, them take them thing, the personal is what I'm saying. However, what I would do when I speak on it, but however, may I share one of the clips that have been circulating so you can maybe have a clearer understanding of probably some of you might have heard, but it's very sad, you know, it's very sad pun. Both sides, uh, this father, him look like, you know, to me, like a good dad, you know, but you can't look upon people and judge but that's just my opinion however let's get into this one oh no watch this man at the up to represent for exclusive baby let's go welcome to the big unload of news and gossip for you today but first here's a new song the moment lifestyle wealthy wealthy that's why me also turn the four seven seven four twenty. None right. of them the richer than me chop a girl when this she fully goes a dump. Why go on for the entry? <laughs> With clothes don't have nothing upon me. Bleach pan the line and I'm a pill zombie. Load up a file quick quick. Bash my dear fi. Now my viewers and my subscribers, Vibes Cartel, the Gaza bar sent a plea letter to Muta Baruka asking him to share this letter with the public on his show because he felt that he was dealt with unfairly within his case now he's asking the human rights organization investigation to look in on these things stated in this letter to Muta Baruka. now i'm gonna get into this letter now the letter stated adisha palmer professionally known as Vibes Cartel, has written a letter to Muta Baruka voicing concern regarding his trial, which he believed was dealt with unfairly. As per Cartel wishes, Muta Baruka 
read the letter to the public and the audio was reshared on YouTube. Alan Muta Baruka also began reading the letter from the incarcerated DJ. We started off stating by detailing him being arrested and charged with the murder of Barrington Burton in 2011. In 2011, I was charged for by way of statement which indicated that I had ordered McDonald's to the Barrington Bose Burton. The letter detailed that the witness later gave a statement to the public defendant indicating that he was physically harassed and threatened by the police. To said that Carter was involved in the murder of Burton. The witness later issued another statement to the public defendant explaining that after he recanted the first statement, he started to receive death threats from individual calling his phone. So clearly Vice Cartel is saying that the person who gave the statements against him went back and take back his statement because he felt that he was threatened by the police to make that statement. After he recanted his statement, that made him take back his statement statement say he wasn't sure he started to receive death threat from unknown individual calling his phone the letter continued to detail some days after the first murder charge cartel was also charged with the of clive lizard williams the letter added that the senior superintendent who had been previously charged with attempt to pervert the course of justice in a separate incident had claimed that the police had more evidence which came back negative several months later they also lead the public to believe that they had a video evidence of me and my co-accused williams i would also like to add that the police made a lot of damaging remarks against me a most noticeable one would be since his arrest, the community is a safer place, the letter continued. The Caribbean search stars completed a search at Gun Court Ramon Center on November the 4th, 2011. The Jamaican Constable Force and the Jamaica Defense Force, along with officers at the prison, conduct the operation of cartel cell block. According to the letter, that particular prison block had three prison cells, including cartel cells. A phone battery was reportedly seized from the prison cell, neighboring cartel cell. Following the search, I was remanded to the Horizon Remand Center that same day. The letter added, Cartel explained that he was charged with attempting to pervert the course of justice four days later and the police indicated to his lawyer that a phone was discovered in his cell. According to the letter, another search was conducted by the Caribbean search team when he was at the Horizon Remand Center on January 22, 2013, but nothing was found inside the prison cell. However, three phones were seized from another cell and one phone was found in a different cell. Cartel wrote that he was presented a document by his attorney, Valvinita Robinson, on February 16, 2013. He said the document, which was produced in a bail hearing by the prosecutor and signed by the high-ranking member of the JCF, stated that the three cell phones were found inside his cell on January 22. My bail was denied, based mainly on this blatant lie by the high-ranking police. Carter said that he is demanding that the human rights organization investigate these events that unfold on November the 4th, 2011 and January the 22nd, 2013. Furthermore, he explained that he had also written twice to the Independent Commissioner of Investigation regarding what had happened during the search operations. He also expressed that everything that has happened in this case is pure fabrication. Now, Muta Baruka read that letter out to the public on his show. And a lot of people understand and know that the system doesn't always play fair. Now, I'm not going to judge and say cartel is guilty or cartel is innocent. Only thing me know, cartel I beg for mercy. Now, we know, say, Father God is a forgiving God. You see what I'm saying? If Father God can forgive, why can a man can forgive? Because as I said, everyone deserves a fair chance. So with that, I move on to my next topic. Let me know your thoughts and comments down in the comments section. Kill me, please, Pastor Bob, help me, Jesus. Anyway, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to look for family the first night of my river attack. 
And that done, the show mash up Tommy Lee, they must run out of any news. And the next, there, the man go back to Tommy Lee, she will go take it. Tommy Lee, have to run out of any news. And that's what Tommy Lee said, no, I'm going now. Now, dance a selector, foot a hype, minding Tommy Lee of the incident where Bunty Killer make him run out of that hall. However, as we do, when Tommy Lee come with the demon, Bunty Killer they take him on, and them they have them little differences. And I'm glad for you say, you know what I mean, them grow past it. However, foot a hype reminded Tommy Lee of the time when Bunty make him run. Tommy Lee never take lightly to it. And answer footer hype by saying this at an Instagram post. I'm watching about name hashtag Bigfoot snoring from shift safer box. Yo, yo, you start see and hear things about a Tommy Lee Sparta run. Member demon bread shot hashtag stop talk. Better your hashtag stop talk. Hashtag lie. Hashtag I love still. At Miss Legendary, come bring your friend, go doctor, hashtag please and tags. Shadow. No, anyway, still it's just a minor thing between them, but um, at least part of just a response to put a hype. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. However, my final topic, as I said, that topic is too. If you really bring that one to you, me need more time and I really don't want to make this video any longer. So, look out for that one in my coming broadcast. I'm just giving her a preview of what I want. But I now really get into that story because I don't want to make this video too long. So, as I said, look out for that story in the next video. This is the story of the four kids who their father is suspected of dashing away their mother and maybe have also done some foul things to i don't know to his daughter or some crazy thing however with that exclusive for out do remember like share and also subscribe blessing always <laughs>